makes opening up and showing your vulnerable side really difficult. But the thing is, the more vulnerable you can be, the better you will connect with somebody. As we all know, as I said in an earlier video, I'm going to throw a thumbnail up in a second of this video. As I said in a previous video, June is Men's Mental Health Awareness Month. And so I will be making a few videos to highlight uh, some of these issues that men have went through in the past might be affecting them and today is going to be one of those videos so if you could hit that, li that like button subscribe if you're not subscribed and hey how's it going my name's rat boy let's get into it i also want to do a video today for the men, I rarely do talk about this, but there's a thing that happens to men. Men think they have no expiration date, really. I ran into a guy yesterday that I recognized. He didn't know me, but I knew exactly who he was because he's what I call a usual suspect. Hey, that's pretty good. So men become what I call a usual suspect when they've been single and in the scene so long, they basically aged out. So now they're in their 50s and they're still chasing those 20 something year old girls. You sure about that? You sure about that? And then they're becoming like that old gross creeper guy. They're starting to color their hair and it never looks Ooh. real. It becomes embarrassing. So guys, please be aware that your time clock does absolutely expire depending on what you're looking for. <laughs> If you're especially those guys in major cities that remain single you do become that guy everybody's like oh that guy with the dyed hair guy he's still now so old and those same young girls he's always been but it doesn't work after a certain age unless you're prepared to pay for it and i don't mean with a matchmaker i don't mean with a matchmaker but if you're still looking for that perfect girl to be your wife and you still want her to be 25, 27, 28, and you are getting up, up, up there. You're getting so, so far away from the target at Ooh. that point that the uh, only way you're gonna get them is to pay for them. You know what I mean? All right, I hope it helps. You don't know what it's like. <laughs> you don't know what it's like out there. No, thank you, dude, you don't. This is this woman is almost 100 percent correct it is always pay to play once you reach a certain age with these men now, i i will say one thing if you're getting older don't worry about dyeing your hair don't do any of that stuff you know, i think that if you have positioned yourself correctly you will have no problem finding uh, any woman that you want to be with now i do not blame a lot of these men they want to remain single they want to keep their peace and that is 100% the way to go. These men are established. They don't want a woman in their life. They have no need for a constant uh, woman in their life. They are able to find any woman they want. And then you have these older women, whether she is a, I think she's some sort of dating coach. I'm, I'm really not sure. Uh, pay attention. But once women reach this age, you know, 60 age, or however old she is, she looks like she's in her 60s or early 70s at least they will the resentment starts to set in and then they are i don't want to say jealous but i mean there there's definitely some resentment there because these men are able to remain single but also get attention from from women and these women they are <laughs> unintentionally single so that is uh, that's also very sad you have the 60 something year old dating coaches and they are single that's like taking uh, Wall Street advice from a hobo off a train. It's like taking Wall Street advice from a guy that works at Burger King. Okay. I recommend it. You can, sure, but and you might get lucky. I mean, I, I wouldn't recommend that. It's just a, that's a hard sell, honestly. And these are the same women that will say that these men chase other women. Look, these men aren't chasing these women. The, the, those women are gravitating towards these men because... These men are able to provide a lot of stuff that the younger men cannot, and these women know this. That's where the term sugar daddy has came from. I mean, that, that's what that means. If you're not aware of that term, uh, you can figure it out, but that, that's what it means, basically. And it's always been pay to play for these for types of men, and they will always have these women gravitating towards them. It's just something that happens. It naturally happens because of 
just the way society is. And a lot of times as women get older, they are not only not interested in these men, but they are unable to obtain them for any long periods of time. And the fact still remains that a very large majority of men are choosing to be single for the rest of their life. They're not even worried about women, which is honestly looking around is a pretty good idea. I mean, no downside to that. Yes! Hell yeah! Hey, come on, baby! Come on! Yes! Come on! Ah! Yes! Yes! Here's how smart men get stuck single. And if you're struggling to succeed in your dating life, you might want to consider hitting that follow button so that we can change that. The first no, reason you. why smart men get stuck single is because you're thinking too hard and acting too little. It's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? No more! You're the kind of guy who likes to analyze everything. You might find yourself overthinking every little detail in dating or potential relationships, which has you spinning out on every possible outcome and is leaving you stuck at the starting line, afraid of making a move because you're worried about messing up or doing it wrong. The second reason is not being able to show your soft side. There's this thing with smart guys feeling like they always have to have the answers and to keep a tight grip on their emotions, which makes opening up and showing your vulnerable side really difficult. But the thing is, the more vulnerable you can be, the better you will connect with somebody. Ooh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to go ahead and sort of disagree with you there last thing is waiting for the perfect moment to start dating most ambitious guys feel like they have to hit some milestones or reach a certain level of success before they're good enough to be in a great relationship but the truth is who you are right now is exactly who you need to be in order to find your dream girl and waiting for some ideal version of yourself is only holding you back remember Stepping into the dating scene does not require perfection. It just requires you to be open and willing to take chances. Why is everyone so f***ing stupid? Why aren't more people intelligent? Like me? Ever heard that, um, hey, let me tell you something. If you make less than 200K a year, don't date. You're broke. Sorry. I hate to break it to you. You shouldn't be dating too much of a dusty you're not making at least 200k a year you don't drive a bugatti you're not able to date you can't provide what modern women deserve for dating nowadays the first date should be a 800 dollars steak at ruth chris minimum okay and you don't have that bugatti pulling up she's not even going to walk outside of her section eight you won't even do it so this advice kind of goes to everything that you see on social media, everything that you've been seeing for the past couple of years. And um, it's very interesting because you get a contradictory look on this. But then you look at the account and she's a dating coach. So she's obviously just looking to sell her, her social media, her clicks or whatever she's trying to do. The fact of the matter is if you listen to the language they use when a woman breaks off her engagement or gets divorced or whatever she does to get single it's always single ladies hot girl summers always independent and we don't need no man and what he won't do the next one will and it's all this uh language but when men choose to be single it's oh you're stuck single oh you don't want to be single you no man wants to be single they, they would all choose to be with a woman if they had the choice Oh, you're that guy, creeper guy, that single guy, like the last lady was saying. It's very important to, you know, this language and how they, uh, you know, the ones that make these videos. It's always the same types of videos like this, and it's always the same types, type of language that gets thrown around. And it only works one way. It only works to escalate and to embarrass and to manipulate men into doing whatever these women uh, expect out of you. Okay, because no wants to be the 60-year-old man, the single, that's hooking up with all the the 20-somethings. Uh, no, that's that sounds horrible. Sounds like torture. I would never want to be that guy. But also, I don't want to be, you know, a lot of older men, and they have just been 
henpecked to death. I mean, alone, obviously. <laughs> but have you seen who they're with? I would rather be alone in a lot of cases. Very rarely would I picture being with, you know, sis or this. I mean, hell. This is a living hell. Okay. Said, has some good points. Fellas, don't color your hair or whatever. I mean, you know what? do whatever you want to do. <laughs> do that. But honestly, you don't need to because it doesn't matter. Okay. If, if everything else is in place, then you're good because the hair is going to be the least amount of your worries. And honestly, if you haven't went bald by then, I would just, just shave your head because then you just you stop aging at, at a certain point, you know, but just imagining the depth and, you know, they make so much money off of TikTok peddling there. Um, you can call it advice. You can call it whatever you want. It's basically just a delusion. It's their own sort of brand of delusion because you would really have to be delusional to listen to someone who makes a living on making sure people stay single because then she would do content they would be completely out of an audience if if one of their audience members actually got in a relationship there's no reason to take dating advice from these people anymore so it's it's absolutely hilarious whenever they make videos like this but with that being said it's very evident to me and to a lot of guys out there that a lot of this language that is being used on social media is to the detriment of a lot of men and in a lot of cases just makes them the butt of the joke. And at this point, there's really nothing that can be done. The only thing that can be done and then that can be a positive turn on all of this is just not only ignoring it, but don't feed into it. You know, no positive outcome that can come from you feeding into any sort of negativity online, it just becomes a sick cycle. And if you've seen any of the videos I've posted in the past, you'll realize that it just continues with a lot of these women. So let's not stoop to their level. So it is no use stooping to their level to try to uh, do in particular. But anyway, that is going to be the end of today's video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Rat Boy out.